All right, let's start out by explaining a cold front. Cold front. And a cold front occurs when we have a cold air mass um, pushing back a warm air mass. Uh, let's see, let's draw the warm air mass down here. Okay. And uh, the cold air mass is, is stronger and pushing the warm air mass back. And because the warm air is warm and warm air wants to rise, it's going to rise above the cold. And it happens um, at a pretty steep slope uh, because that cold air mass is basically pushing its way underneath it and the warm air mass is being forced upward. Uh, what happens with that is the warm air begins to cool very rapidly and we get a very fast um, process of condensation and um, that fast formation will uh, create heavy rains heavy rains, possibly thunderstorms alright so heavy rains heavy rains and then maybe some some lightning and thunder something like that and um, the front will move very quickly and if you think about your experiences with thunderstorms in the past thunderstorms um, can be very severe but uh, really come and go fairly fairly fast it doesn't stay on for for uh, you know hours on end it'll come and go and whenever there's a uh, a thunderstorm warning if you ever watch the radar they'll talk about how fast the winds are and how um, how the, the the more severe the storm often the more fast the storm is moving um, so that's one of the characteristics because that the that cold front is pushing forward and that warm air is rising so quickly all right so um, that's the cold front now let's let me erase this um, the other one that I wanted to talk about today was the warm warm front warm front and with the warm front we get um, a cold air mass again cold air mass but this time the warm air mass is going to be stronger and the warm air mass is pushing back the cold but because the warm air mass is stronger and again the warm air is going to rise above it it's going to rise at a much shallower slope uh, because that warm air is pushing and pushing down on that cold air mass again the warm air wants to rise but because it's pushing back that cold air mass it's always also kind of pushing it down and so we get this um, very slow steep angle and because of that the precipitation or the condensation that occurs is going to be very wide and also um, very slow as far as uh, the, the speed of the front so we will get precipitation but it won't be nearly as severe because of that slow process of a process of condensation. So we end up with a um, situation of light, light and often steady, steady rains. So if you think about, um, you know, dark dreary days where it was cloudy all day long from, from morning to night or possibly even for a couple of days in a row where you just get um, very thick clouds and drizzle throughout the day or um, you know drizzle and then um, just clouds and then drizzle later on in the afternoon and then maybe later on at night that was probably uh, an experience of a warm front um, again it is light steady rains and very slow moving so that warm front is going to stay with you for a while and that that ra those rain clouds are going to be very wide and and just kind of be stuck over you 
and so it's one of those dark dark days where you can't go out and do anything um, so there it is uh, cold front and warm front um, both pre produce precipitation but very different kinds where the warm front is light steady rains and the cold front can be far more severe alright thank you